Take Captain Solo to Jabba the Hutt after I have Skywalker. He's no good to me dead. The artist formerly known as the deadliest bounty hunter in the galaxy is headlining a year full of new adventures in the galaxy far, far away. From misfit stormtroopers to a whole bunch of Mandalorians to the return of the Chosen One himself, Star Wars is adding to the canon in a major way in 2022, so let's break down everything fans have to look forward to. So grab those quadnoculars and stare straight into the binary sunset. Here's what to expect from Star Wars in 2022. There's no new Star Wars theater releases planned in the year ahead, but that doesn't mean there won't be enough new Star Wars to choke a dewback. Not that we endorse choking dewbacks, mind you, it's just... Look, you know what I mean. Anyway, I digress. Are you ready for new Boba Fett adventures? Yep. <laughs> we are too, kids, so it's probably a great thing that the Book of Boba Fett is first on deck to kick off the new year. I intend to rule with respect. Premiering on December 29th, the seven-episode season will follow Boba Fett as he flexes some muscle in the Outer Rim while taking over the remnants of Jabba the Hutt's criminal empire. Boba Fett, of course, returned in The Mandalorian Season 2 some years after having been famously defeated by a giant hole in the ground. But he's back in action, he's got his armor back, and he's making up for lost time. Will he be a better crime boss than he was a bounty hunter? We will soon find out. While Book of Boba Fett fills in the space between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens, Disney Plus's Andor series goes in the other direction. Set before the events of Rogue One, a Star Wars story, Andor follows the adventures of Captain Cassian Andor. You know, before he got obliterated on Scarif, after a nice hug he needed real bad. Hello there. General Kenobi indeed. This is the big one in 2022. The Obi-Wan Kenobi series will catch us up on everyone's favorite desert hermit as he watches a young Luke Skywalker grow up on Tatooine. Fans are eagerly awaiting a first look at this one. Still no trailer for Kenobi, but it is expected to hit Disney Plus sometime in 2022. Same with most of the stuff on this list. So far, we've seen some concept art and a sizzle reel teasing a rematch between Ewan McGregor's Obi-Wan Kenobi and Hayden Christensen's Darth Vader. This is where the fun begins. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! And oh hey, remember how Din Djarin is now the wielder of the Darksaber and as such is also the ruler of all Mandalore? Yeah, he was hoping maybe everyone would forget about all that, but they didn't. Now he's gonna have to find a way to give the thing to Bo-Katan or he'll wind up leading her conquest to retake Mandalore. Plus, what about Grogu and his Jedi training? No release date yet, but The Mandalorian Season 3 is expected to drop in 2022. Don't fool yourself. All you'll ever be to them is a number. Experimental Clone Force 99 found themselves on the Empire's bad side in The Bad Batch Season 1, and with a sequel campaign confirmed for 2022, Hunter, Ico, Tick, Rika, Crosshair, and Omega will all continue to fight for survival in the newly formed Galactic Empire. Plus, will we see more into the Emperor's cloning operation now that Kamino is, uh, no longer in business? A Jedi Fallen Order sequel and a Knights of the New Republic remake might be somewhere on the distant horizon, but the big Star Wars video game to expect in 2022, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. This one has been delayed twice already and is now expected in the spring. This game will take players through the retellings of all nine Skywalker Saga movies, but here's the thing, you can do them in any order you wish. Of course, we all just learned the High Republic adventure Star Wars Eclipse is somewhere out there in development as well, but Quantic Dream Star Wars game has no set release date yet and almost assuredly won't be out till 2023 or perhaps later. And speaking of the High Republic, how about some books? Lucasfilm Publishing kicks off the second wave of High Republic stories starting in January with the release of Claudia Gray's The High Republic, The Fallen Star. Marvel Comics' line of Star Wars comics ended in 2021 with the conclusion of the War of the Bounty Hunters crossover. That story revealed just how difficult a time Boba Fett had in bringing Han Solo's carbonite frozen body to Jabba's palace, especially with Han's ex-girlfriend Kira and the Crimson Dawn crime syndicate on Fett's tail. 
Marvel is kicking off the new year with a sequel of sorts called Crimson Reign. This new storyline will again focus on Kira as well as some major sequel era characters like Ochi of Bestoon and Ren. Can Kira consolidate her grip on the criminal underworld while Darth Vader hunts her down? Now we don't like her chances very much, but as Han used to say, Never tell me the odds. Marvel's High Republic comic will also continue in 2022 alongside Del Rey's various High Republic novels, which we mentioned earlier. Marvel's solicitations for February 2022 tease a major turning point for the monthly High Republic series as the entire crossover reaches the end of its first major phase. We don't know if Marvel will debut any new Star Wars comic series in 2022, but it's likely to be a big year for ongoing titles like Star Wars and Darth Vader. Return of the Jedi turns 40 in 2023, so we're guessing Marvel is building toward a new lineup of comics set after the original trilogy. That means we may see the current Episode 5 era Star Wars books reach their big conclusions at the end of the year. Meanwhile, Dark Horse Comics will return to publishing Star Wars comics in 2022 for the first time since 2015 as it carries new all-age Star Wars titles starting in the spring. Goodness gracious me. I'm gone. And last but not least, there's the Disney theme park attractions. Disneyland's Galaxy's Edge opened in 2019, and now you can even visit in VR using the Oculus Quest. But the real exciting development coming up? The two-night Galactic Cruiser immersive hotel experience, which is set to open in March of 2022, in Orlando, Florida. Hey, thanks for watching, and for more Star Wars, here's our full breakdown of that Star Wars Eclipse trailer, and don't forget to follow and subscribe to IGN, wherever you like to watch.